Making Fun with Ed O. Podcast. Hi everyone, I'm back. Welcome back you all to the second episode of Talking Fun with Ed O. For today's episode, we have the Ain't Paying 18 and also some stories that I forgot to tell you from the first episode and many other plans that is going on from this time forward. I'd like to introduce you guys, you all. We're in the interview section with a good friend of mine named Alan Pang, which is known on YouTube as the Ain't Paying 18. We first met two years ago when we have done the full cell project called New Gen Nas X. The link will be in the description along with other videos that my man has made. And uh, when I first met you, you know, you were like a quiet dude, but you were very outgoing. And like when I first saw you, you know, you were around 300 and 600 subs when the time I met you. And then over time, like right around now, you have gotten to a thousand sub. And so how, uh, how does this feel and how are you doing today? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Like, how does it, like, feel to, like, get, like, that that many subs? Like, does it feel any different than, like, what you received, you know, two years ago when you had, like, 300 and 600? Mm-hmm. Probably not. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, um, all right. So, here's, okay, here's another one we got is, uh, all right, um, uh, we're... Where were you born, and uh, uh, where 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 were you first born at? You know, what was what, what was uh, you know, when's your birthday, and uh, when were you uh, where were you first born? Um, I was fr- first born in New Jersey. Um, I grew up in Whitney. Whitney, New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sweet. In nineteen ninety nine, right? Yes. Okay. So, what inspired you to do filmmaking, and what was the very first movie-making program you used to uh, make movies? Um, um, video editing inspired me to do filming because I've been learning and practicing, practicing video editing since summer camp in middle school. And I also, first I used Windows for my movie-making used since New Jersey. Yeah, that was my first thing that I've used to. And uh, over time, uh, were there other movie making programs you used after move, uh, Window Movie Maker or uh, you just kept with that one for like a strong bit of time? Um, I've used Video Editor as a, as a new one. Okay, gotcha. So, how did you uh, find out about Full Cell, by the way? Um, I've heard about Full Cell from Facebook. Um, I visited Full Cell University with my mother to take a tour during my summer break, which I stayed in Florida since June 2017. Then I moved to Florida in summer 2018, which I started attended Full Cell University for film. All right. So, um, how did you uh, came up with the name A Ping Eighteen, and uh, why w- did you decide to call your channel that? Um, I chose the name A Ping Eighteen because my channel is um, the A Ping Eighteen appears on my videos and my channel page. It means that um, Alan Ping in 18 is I mean plus 2018. Okay. Alrighty. Um what was your uh favorite uh video that you made for your channel? It could be like uh an old video or you know a any type of videos like what was your favorite one that you have made from that period of time? Hmm. Um my favorite video that I've made on YouTube is Mara wants ice cream. Yeah. It's more entertainment. 
That is yeah. like the most popular one I've been seeing, especially from the popular upload list. Yeah, that is the most popular one ever. All right. Yeah. I mean, you you really have camera like have um also on that note, like you've been on like YouTube since uh 2013, right? Um, actually, I created channels since 2014. 2014. Okay, gotcha. Um. How uh how do you how would you like people to remember you by like when uh you get older and stuff like that especially you know when uh you know uh like if you leave the earth or something like that like how do you pe- how you, or just like right now how do you want people to remember you um I want people to remember me by phone calling text and email. And I also want them to remember me by connecting each other on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. All right. And especially, like, being, like, a film editor, too, right? You want people to remember you as that as well, which, you know, I've been taking a good long look at your videos, and they're, like, you know, super fire. And as I've always looked in since 2019, it's always been getting better and better, and, you know, I'm... I'm happy that, you know, you're getting all the love and all the uh, same type of support and, like, growing higher as, you know, once I first met you. So, you know, congratulations, man. Congratulations on making it this far. You know, in a matter of time, I could even see you getting the uh, YouTube uh, plaque very soon, you know, because you got you, – you, you filled up the numbers. Like, it's only a matter of time for you to get, like, verified – and also have the, the YouTube uh, mail-in to send you a plaque on, like, wherever. This is, uh, is this uh, in New Jersey right now, or uh, is this in Florida? Uh, it's in Florida. In Florida. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, what is your favorite food that you like to eat from time to time? Uh, my favorite food would be burgers. Hot dogs, French fries, salads, pizza, and shepherd's pie. Yeah, my favorite my favorite, food. my favorite food is like pizza, along with like a lot of like Asian snacks and food and stuff. So, well, all right. <laughs> uh, so, what was uh, your favorite part about your hometown and Florida? What was your favorite uh, pastime that you like to go through from? Your hometown and you know Florida. What was your favorite things? Um, my favorite part of New Jersey is um, I enjoy staying in Whitney. I visited Morristown, Cedar Nose, Warren Park, and East Town of Hertz. It's a good local area. And my favorite part about it is Florida is. Orlando, Orlando, which is a good city, town, and also, like, it's close to full city. All right, sweet. Um, is there any other place, like, in, uh, the U.S. where, like, any other states would you like to, like, go out of in any countries you like to see? I also forgot, like, on a side note, like, I've seen pictures of you, like, in japan and i think korea like is there any other parts in like the u.s state or like anywhere outside the country you would like to be you know that's a good question i I, I would like to go to texas in america next year because i'm i might be moving to a new house with my mother in texas and i'll be going to portugal next month August, Portugal is a country, and it's also a country in the U.S. All right, yeah, I you you kind of look like a dude that uh, that's in Texas. I I actually thought if you weren't from New Jersey when we first met, I actually would believe you're from Texas on a, a, like for real. All right, and uh, the last question that I have for you today is, what is your uh, Oh, wait. Actually, I just thought of two more while we're here. Um, what is your uh, favorite cartoon? 
What did you like? Any? It can be any type of cartoon, like ever, like that's on, you know, this platform or just like on television or whatever. What's your favorite cartoon? Um, my favorite cartoons would be SpongeBob SquarePants, Blue's Clues, Cars One, Two, Three, Movie, Finding Nemo, and. Dory. Yeah, the crush. Yeah, the Epcot video. Oh man, that yeah. that was that was that's actually really cool. I have I know I haven't been there in a while, but and like stuff is like kind of opening up right now. But definitely, I I will remember to take a look at that and also the Epcot Center too of like the other places around the world. I'll make sure to look at that. And the final mm-hmm. last question I have for today is um. Who is your favorite YouTuber or somebody you would like to collab with on uh, your channel that's like your favorite on YouTube and stuff? Um, I don't really have a favorite one. I like all YouTubers. All right. I see you, man. All right, man. Well, uh, do you have like any last words before I sing you on your uh, merry way, man? Uh, yes, uh, it was nice talking. Thank you so much. You it was the best. It's nice, <laughs> great to see you. Thanks. Stay in touch with me, and hope you stay safe and make good progress in recording our full set. Ah, oh, thanks, man. You, you too, man. Um, what you uh, is there like? anything like uh um you still like in full cell right now or like what what are you like just freelancing right now uh, just freelance yeah i could see that well you know man thank you so much for like being on the second episode of my podcast and you know have a good luck and have the good rest of your day man i'll see you around thank you for being on the second episode man see you around bye bye Take care. Take care. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my guest today. And now we're going to move on to the story that I actually forgot to tell you all from the first part. The thing was is that I thought I had like all the video footage from the first episode to put in here, especially to make the SoundCloud. But unfortunately, I didn't really second check and just threw it all in there and just thought I had everything and that's how we got what we got but now I am here to pick up the pace and put all the puzzle pieces back together of what I was talking about last time we stopped on excuse me last time we stopped on my first Japanese group that I known which was shown in knife And as you can all see, y'all have all seen the new video for it. Uh, The first Korean group and artist that I've known was SES. They started around the same time I was born. And then 10 years later, that's when I started to listen to them and started engaging. Uh, Chinese artists and group is a video that's really coming soon right after this episode. uh, SHE which stands for their names of the group. And possibly like last thing is the Thailand group Raptor, which you guys have all seen a video for that that I made two years ago. And it's also like one of the second videos that's in the popular upload with part one with the whole documentation of what has been told from uh, WordPoint. And I tried to put it in not only to my own words, but also tell the story like it was. And also the part two where Lucky Sal and her friends have uh, did a respond video for me with questions on them. So now that we've finished that, now we can get to the part that was really important, which was my movie making career. And then after that, this will be the end of the episode. If not, then you'll see from the duration from the mp3 and also YouTube itself. So my first program that I've used to make movies back 
I know back when I was little, it was like VHS, but here I took it a step further when we got ourselves a Windows computer in 2007. And that's, as you guessed it, that's how I did Window Movie Maker. The movies I would make during those times, uh, I don't really make them anymore. As as you can see from like what I did like right now to what 10 years ago is, it's really different. It would be where I take my favorite cartoons like Ed, Ed and Eddie and South Park and I mix them together from uh, Window Movie Maker. And when I've used this product, this project, the product and project, I would learn how to adjust volume to add stuff at the right time and just like do like audios for like, you know, like music videos and stuff like that. So that's how I learned how to do all that stuff. And then the second thing that came about is ABS video editor. I would use it just in case there is a video that I can't necessarily put on Window Movie Maker. And there was a time 11 years ago that Window Movie Maker just stopped working all of a sudden. So I had to just use ABS Video Editor. And that's when I learned to do the same thing, but more. And especially with uh, the group I was, the 21st group, Japanese group I was talking about from my last video, Folder folder and Folder 5, I slowed there on their song, Jacka Jacka Junk and Pong. That's how I learned to do that too. A little bit, I remember, like, I sort of did something like that when it came to this uh, program where I would play my movies along with Window Media Player. It would be the VLC player, which I have also right now to this day. Um, where I would slow things down sort of like that, just to have fun with it. And now we move on to the third thing of it before we, like, get to pretty much where we left off from the first episode. Uh, third, third to last thing right there is uh, Photoshop. No, I'm not talking about the After Effects. I'm talking about the good old plain blue one. Yes, the good old plain original one. A lot of people didn't know that you can make movies off of it, but you can. It's kind of like when you mix like Window Movie Maker and AVS Video Editor together. That's basically how I see it. So, yeah, there is the there was there is now the finishing touches of the whole history of my movie making career. And as you can see, I've talked about like everything else and everything else from the last episode, and that will be pretty much it today. So before I go today, I have shout outs and a few other announcements today before I move any forder, further, which is our shout outs for today is, of course, our guest, the Ain't Paying 18, all about Millennials podcast, Love Royal and Bishop podcast, Nazitech, Arg. Augie RF, mm. Augie RF, Augie RF, Augie RF, oh my god, Augie RFC, Augie RFC, and La Campa Pac, mm. La Campa Pac, mm. right, ah, La Campa Pod Naz. I'm so sorry if it took me a lot of tries. Augie RFC and La Campa Podcast. So the announcement I'm going to make before I leave is um, the next video coming up is the documentary. Uh, not in a documentary, a video, a video report about the Taiwanese group SHE that has, it's almost been the 20th anniversary and also after that is um after that is going to be D and D. I know I had like certain other lines to go with before I did D and D, but here's the thing: D and D's uh, celebration of 
them having their own day is more closer than everyone else. So that's pretty much why I got to do it that way. Also next month on August the 1st coming very soon is Folder and Folder 5 Day. Also later in the month of August is Whiteberry Day and Shonen Knife Day. So be on the lookout for that very soon. And um, that'll be it for now. Thank you guys for watching my second episode of Talking Fun with Edo Podcast. And like usual, I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye. Talking Fun with Edo Podcast. Coming up next, the Apang 18. We'll be right back. Keep it here.